Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Khushbu and in this video, we are going to see the question minimum size subarray sum. Given an array of positive integers nums and a positive integer target, return the minimal length of a subarray whose sum is greater than or equal to target. If there is no such subarray, return 0 instead. So here we are given some examples. Let's go through them. When the target is 7 and this is the nums, the smallest subarray that gives us the sum of 7 or more is 4,3, which is of length 2. So the output here is 2. Over here in the example number 2, the target is 4 and the minimal length subarray can be of length 1 because this 4 is greater than or equal to target. So the output is 1 because the subarray that gives the answer is of length 1. In the example 3, the target is given as 11 and the nums is this. Even after adding all the elements, we are not going to reach the target and thus no subarray exists that can achieve a target of 11. That means we need to output 0. So now let's go ahead and see how we can solve this question by taking the example number 1. So this is the example number 1 and over here we are given target as 7 and this is the nums array. So let's take the nums array which is 231243. When we start from the starting of the array and try to take as many elements that can produce the target as 7, we will see that these elements produce the sum which is greater than 7 that is 8. Although if even we combine these two as well in the window or in the subarray, it will also be a valid one. But since we need the smallest one, we are not going to take this because as soon as we added this 2, the sum was 8 and which was satisfying the condition. So this is an array of length 4. Now is it enough? No. We can also see that the array 1, 2, 4 also satisfies the condition. Now we can also have taken 2, 3 and this 3 into consideration but since we needed the smallest one, we have taken only these elements which are giving me the sum of 4, 5, 6 and 7. Again we can move further and see that the 4 and 3, these two elements itself can give me the target of 7 which is a subarray of size 2. So what you are seeing here is nothing but the window and this window is giving me the entire subarray range that is producing my target sum. Now, in order to minimize the length of the window, we are going to shift and shrink the window to get the answer. So, if you see over here, we started from the beginning, we tried and shifted the window and we also tried to shrink the window in order to see how much I can shrink it in order to get the minimum sized window. So this is nothing but the sliding window protocol. Let's go over this example once again and perform a dry run so that you can better understand how the sliding window is working. After which we'll go and code this particular question out. So let's take this array and we'll start with the first element. Now since this is only giving me the sum as 2 which is lesser than the target, we cannot take this window into consideration or this subarray into consideration. We need to at least get the sum as 7. So we go and take in the other element in trying to maximize the sum. So now the current sum has increased to 5. But this is still lower than the target. So we are going to go ahead and take another element into the window. So now we are getting the current sum as 6 after including this 1 but this is still not equal or greater than the target we have been given. So we'll have to take one more element. Now when we considered this 2 my current sum became 8 and thus this is greater than the target. So we can consider this window. Now can we take this as is into consideration that the window of size 4 is the optimal window? No. There is a possibility that if we exclude the elements that are in the start, we will still get the target sum as 7. Because there is a possibility that the elements in the start are of lower value. So let's try removing this 2. 
now once we remove this two current sum becomes six so we know that this two cannot be removed but if there was a one instead of this we could have removed it so we'll keep this and our window size is going to be of size four so let's move ahead and take four as soon as we add this four the current sum becomes 12 now can we take this window as is which is of length five we can try and shrink it right so we'll try removing this two. Now the current sum is 10, which is still greater than the target. So we can remove this element. Let's try removing this three as well. And now the current sum is seven and the target is also seven. So which is still satisfying the condition and thus we can remove this three as well. If we go ahead and remove one, this will go below because six becomes lower than seven. And so we need to keep this one but our window size has reduced because earlier it was four, but now these three are giving me the result. So I can say that the minimum window or the minimum sub array till here is three. Now let's take the another element into consideration. As soon as we add this current sum became 10, which is greater. So we'll try to shrink it further. So removing one, yes, it is possible. So we remove it. Again, we try removing two and yes, that is also possible because the current sum still remains seven. When we try removing four, the current sum becomes three because now that we are only considering this three. So that is not possible because that is not satisfying the condition. So we need to keep this four as is and my window size becomes two. And now that we have reached the end of the array, I can return the window size that I have formed, which is the minimum sub array size, returning the sum being target or greater than the target value given to us. So that was the dry run for this particular problem. Let's go ahead and code this out. So let's take some variables with us. So over here, I have taken a current sum a window, a start and end of the window. My window length initially is integer dot max value because we are going to try and find the minimum value. So initially we take the max value in that case. Now we are going to take a for loop. In this for loop, we are going to take the conditions for the end of the window. While it still stays in bound of the nums and does not go beyond that, we are going to loop. Initially, we'll just find out the sum which is equal to addition of nums of end. Now, we also need to see how we can shrink the window. Now, while this current sum is going to be greater than the target that we have, we are going to shrink the window. So let's take that. Over here, we are going to shrink the window. But with this, also what we are going to do is we are going to find or take the window size as well. Because this is the place where the condition of having the proper sub array is satisfied. So this is going to be the window length, which is minimum of the window we have previously found or the current window, which is end minus start plus one. Apart from this, we are going to shrink it so we are going to eliminate the start and we are going to also increment the start because we are now going to start our window from the next element. So this loop is going to handle our window and at the end we are going to just return the window. So if the window is still integer dot maxwell, which means the loop has not been able to find a correct window and so we return zero otherwise we will return the window length so that's all for this question let's run this it's giving a perfect result let's submit and it got submitted the time complexity over here is o of n because we are just looping on this nums array once while the space complexity is o of one because we are not using any extra array or any extra space. We are just using a few variables in order to store the sum and the window size. So that's it for this question, guys. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, do click on the bell icon, do subscribe to our channel to get a notification of the new videos we post in. Also, keep learning, keep coding, and I'll see you in the next one.